Hi guys, welcome back to Aram's Vegan Vida. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a super quick, delicious, and easy recipe. I'm going to be making vegan hot dogs using carrots. Isn't that insane? When I first ever heard about this like little invention, I thought it was crazy and I thought it was just vegans being weird. And for the fact that I'm vegan, I felt ashamed. But one day that I was actually broke and I didn't have anything but like carrots and whatever I ended up just deciding to try this recipe and it actually became a staple in my home it's so delicious and I actually recommend making carrot dogs over like buying vegan processed meats like for example light life makes smart dogs I do not like those the carrot ones taste like a thousand times better I've also tried the field roast frankfurters and I definitely recommend the carrot one the carrot hot dogs over that one again so I hope you guys try this one at home. It's a super easy recipe. It probably took me like maybe with like everything, like preparing, marinating and everything. It probably took me around like 35, 40 minutes. So it's really easy, really cheap. And I hope you guys try this one at home. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye. Alright guys, so to get started with this recipe, I'm going to be taking these peeled carrots that I decided to peel off camera, measuring them alongside a vegan hot dog bun. It's actually quite easy to find vegan hot dog buns, just make sure you read your labels as always. So I will be cutting off the tops and any leftovers that are edible, make sure you save that for a quick snack later or maybe munch on it while you're making this amazing recipe. Um, I also recommend just using that first carrot you measured to begin with as a guide for the rest of the carrots and just keep on repeating this process like so. I also recommend that you use like the fatter end of the carrot because you kind of want a more uniform um, carrot dog if that makes sense. And there you have it. Now that all my carrots are measured and peeled, I'm, this is strictly for aesthetic purposes. I mean it's also cool if you're making this recipe to like and maybe impress a non-vegan or just in general you want to take a picture of it you don't want it to look so much like a carrot so what I'm doing here is just peeling off the ends a little bit so that it looks a little bit more rounded at the end so it resembles more so a hot dog and any left edible leftovers I'm simply gonna be setting aside and eating it on top of a salad later or something and there you have it those are my five carrots yummy so for the carrot dog marinade, I will be adding two cups of water to this pot. The next ingredient I will be adding to this marinade is liquid aminos. Liquid aminos is a soy sauce alternative, but you can definitely use soy sauce. And as you can see in this little part, I was about to add one full cup of this liquid aminos. Then I realized, wait, that measurement was wrong. So I went back and changed the measurement to a half a cup because that's the correct one I use. So okay, half a cup of liquid aminos or soy sauce. Now for two tablespoons of syrup. I'm using this maple flavored syrup, but you can definitely use regular maple syrup or agave for this recipe. Now for some liquid smoke, I will be adding this mesquite rice liquid smoke, two tablespoons. This is actually, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's really easy to find. I actually found this one specifically at Food for Less for 140. I have bought the same brand at Bonds and Walmart as well. Next, I will be adding two tablespoons of this organic Heinz tomato ketchup. And I'd like to add this for flavor, one teaspoon of mint garlic. And for some more added flavor, I like to also add black pepper. I did this just to taste because I ended up just tasting the marinade. But I would say maybe this is around one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. You can definitely add more seasonings to this marinade as you would like, but at this point it tastes the best to me. Like this is my favorite combo that I've done. So now that the marinade is done, just make sure you add those peeled carrots back in there and grab this pot and set it onto the stove on high heat. The reason I set it to high heat is because I want to bring this marinade to boil and then once it's boiled, I'm going to bring it down to simmer and turn down the temperature. So I'm going to let my carrot dogs cook in this marinade for 15 minutes uncovered. After those 15 minutes are over, you're going to take a lid and cover this pot so that way it can continue cooking thoroughly. 
This recipe specifically can vary depending on the carrots you are using. I did decide to use like bigger sized carrots, but if you're using a thinner type of carrot, I definitely recommend you do this like 10 minutes uncovered and 10 minutes covered. I know I have done that before, but I definitely recommend you just check them every so often. Stir around that liquid to make sure everything's cooking right and evenly. Okay, so now that the 15 minutes are up, I'm going to take a lid and cover this for another remaining 15 minutes. 30 minutes total of this cooking process. Okay, so now fast forward to the future. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to take a fork to check if they're fork tender. At this point, it had been maybe 25 minutes when I decided to put the fork in them and they were definitely not ready. As you can see, it was going in but not like crazy and I tend to like my carrot dogs a little bit softer because I feel like that resembles a real hot dog a little more. Okay so now fast forward again to the future. I let them cook for another remaining 10 minutes, 35 minutes total and they were perfect as you can see right there and my doggo is in the background. In this clip I'm showing you that I decided to grill some onions and some serrano peppers that I will later be using as toppings. Now that my carrots are fork tender, I took them out of the pot and added them onto this grill so that way they can get a little crispy exterior, add some lovely grill marks as well. I'm not going to be cooking these for long, just for a couple of minutes, so keep a close eye on them. I also recommend that you brush on some of that extra marinade to keep them nice and moist, and maybe snap a photo or two. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to making one of the spreads that I will be using on one of my carrot dogs today. Starting off with this reduced fat veganase, I will be adding one tablespoon to this bowl. Alongside the mayo, I will be adding five cloves of roasted garlic that I actually roasted off camera. You can set these on parchment paper in the oven for like 30 minutes. So now I will be taking a fork to mash the garlic into the mayo. I'm going to be mashing it gently but not insanely like hard so that way it leaves kind of chunky bits into it it gives it a really nice texture and flavor to this creamy spread this might sound weird but trust me on this one i will be adding two teaspoons of the liquid inside of these pickled jalapeno peppers and just mix that all together thoroughly to combine all those yummy flavors i will also be adding one teaspoon of yellow mustard Now that I mixed all those ingredients in, I realized that this was a little bit runny, so I decided to add half a tablespoon of more veganase. Okay, so quick little comment. Do you see my dog in the background? Her name is Froyo, in case you don't know her, but she's always shadowing me in the kitchen. It's crazy. Does your dog do that? Now back to the spread. I'm adding a couple shakes of black pepper and a couple shakes of this pink sauce. So there you have it. Give it one last little mix and this is the consistency I was looking for. A little thick and not too thin. And finally, plating. I will be taking a vegan hot dog bun, opening it up a little bit, spreading some of that veganaise inside. You can definitely microwave the buns, but I don't actually personally own a microwave, so I decided to just toast a little bit on the grill that I used for the carrot dogs. So these are my personal favorite toppings to put on hot dogs. I like to add some diced onion, some diced tomato, and some diced jalapeno. Feel free to switch up the toppings. This is just my personal favorite. This is what my parents taught me to add on hot dogs growing up, and it hasn't changed since. So for the next hot dog, I will be taking a more unique route with it, adding some of that garlic aioli we made previously inside instead of just regular old mayo. As I spread this, you can see the chunky pieces of roasted garlic, and trust me when I say this adds such a delicious flavor. At this point, you probably think my toppings are so weird, but trust me, we're also going to stick with some of the basics, which is some ketchup and some yellow mustard. Okay, so now hot dog number one is all done. Moving on back to the second one I have started, I'm adding some of that grilled onions that I showed you earlier and some of those grilled serrano peppers. And just like that, we are done. And there you have it, some delicious vegan AF carrot dogs. Do not knock this recipe before you try it, I definitely recommend it. It is super accessible and really cheap. As far as the marinade, as I stated before, you can definitely substitute 
one ingredient for another. This is definitely a great recipe to do for a family barbecue, maybe a potluck. I don't know what route you want to go. There is endless amount of toppings you can add on hot dogs and on these carrot dogs. Thank you so much for watching this video.